The sound and sound field are like the blue sky of a typhoon, and this is a 100,000 yen class sound. Panasonic SU V900 79,800 yen Although the design is quite different from MA10, the cabinet is the same as MA10. Although the panel layout is different, the panels themselves are also the same. Perhaps the MA10 was planned first, and the V900 was created using that cabinet. Actual weight, 21 kilograms. It is number one in weight in the 798 class. The bonnet weighs 1900 G. It is attached with a total of 11 screws, three on each side, three on the top, and two on the rear, and a 100 mm square vibration damping tile is placed on the back. The bottom plate weighs 1960 G including the legs. I didn't remove the legs because the screws wouldn't come out unless you peeled off the bottom cover, but it looks like the inside is filled with mold. The interior of the cabinet contains two partition plates that connect the front and back, and is divided into three parts, left, middle, and right, furthermore, there is a chassis corresponding to the bottom plate of each compartment, and the bottom plate is attached below. There is a dead space between the chassis and the bottom plate that is 30 mm high for the left and right sections and 50 mm high for the center section. The meaning of this space can be understood from MA10. Anyway, this is the first time I've seen such a well-built cabinet in this price range. The volume knob is solid and heavy at 180G. The lever type knob also weighs 33G. The AC cable is thick and flat, 2 mm. Complete twin mono configuration. The power transformer has a power capacity of 170 VA and is housed in a shielded case, with the case size 110 by 90 by 90 mm, one on each side. The filter capacitor, heat sink, shield plate, etc. are exactly the same as MA10, so please refer to them. The preamplifier is built into the second half of the central compartment, and like the MA10, it's really tightly shielded. The input-output pin jacks are concentrated in the center, and the SP terminals are located at the top left and right, each having the shortest distance, and the SP terminals are especially easy to use compared to other companies. For amp configuration, equalizer, 6 dB tone amplifier, 30 dB gain flat amplifier, and 0 dB power amplifier. In addition to the normal input, there is a power amplifier direct input, which skips the selector, mode, loudness, front volume, balance, and tone amplifier and enters the rear volume. This direct sound is amazing. The range is wide, the sound is clear and sharp, and the sound and sound field are as clear and spacious as the blue sky after a typhoon. This is the sound of the 100,000 yen class. When used normally, it becomes a little veiled and feels undeveloped in various aspects, but it is still well above the standard. A high CP machine without any complaints. An amp that didn't take shortcuts. I listened to it over and over again, and before I knew it, it had become so heavy. That's my only regret. This is the angle that I wanted to show the most, and the one that is the easiest to fool. You can almost see the confident face of the designer. The twin monaural construction is so well thought out that it cannot be moved any further. Class AA, 0 dB power amplifiers are lined up on the left and right, the preamplifier and power amplifier front stage are placed in the front section, and the input system is placed in the center, each with strict shielding. The most reliable thing is the powerful power supply section. 
Large 170VA power transformers using OFC windings are placed on the left and right. In addition, twin large capacity 12,000 microfarads electrolytic capacitors are used independently for LR. And what supports them is a sturdy structure. Rather than housing parts in a box, the amplifier itself forms one solid structure. By the way, it weighs 2 kilograms. According to the designer, they wanted to make it lighter. When I assembled ready-made parts and listened to them, I became dissatisfied with the sound quality and ended up making new parts. Then it always becomes heavier than before. It seems that all these things have piled up and become this heavy. Now, what about the sounds of the liver and kidneys? There's no way you can't get a good sound after doing all this. I'll just report that it didn't give up a single step when compared to a separate amplifier.